Hello and welcome to part 14 of this tutorial series. In this part we are going to discuss clustering. Clustering enables load balancing and job failover. If you have a website, chances are that that website is hosted on multiple servers. Being that for load balancing or based on your customers on different geographical locations, you might have more servers on one area than the other. To use Quartz in such environment, we need to configure it for clustering, so jobs are shared between multiple servers. To configure Quartz, all we need to do is add one property, quartz.jobstore.cluster, and set it to true. Previously, when we configured our SQL Server job store, we forgot to set a driver delegate. The driver delegate is used for database specific operations. Each database type should have its own implementation of the delegate. The delegate will handle things like index management, blocking operations, when multiple concurrent triggers are set on the same schedule, etc. For our case, we have an SQL Server database, so we need to use the SQL Server delegate. To set the driver delegate, we use the job store that driver delegate type and we set it to SQL Server delegate. Once the configuration is done, we need to go to our home controller and add some more triggers so we can see how they are shared between multiple servers. Let's copy paste the same trigger. Let's make a trigger 2, give it an ID trigger 2 and a parameter of trigger 2. Let's make it trigger 3 and let's give an ID of trigger 3 and a parameter of trigger 3. Let's schedule the new triggers. For demonstration purposes, I've copied the same solution twice and we will be running it with multiple Visual Studio instances so we can see how jobs are shared between multiple servers. We are running two instances of Visual Studio which will simulate two servers for our test environment. Let's start our simple job. And we can see that the job is being executed on one of the servers. and then sometimes it's being executed on the other server. That is all we have to do to configure clustering, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure that the applications are configured the same way on both places where the code is running, otherwise you will run into errors.